Hello. I'm going to start with uh, Pisces and work our way back to uh, Aries today. Holy Spirit, would you uh, link me with the soul cycle of uh, Pisces, please? Soul cycle of Pisces. What do our uh, Pisces need to be aware of, Holy Spirit? It's time to feed the fish. It's time to feed the fish. Even that sucker guy that's sucking on the side of the tank there. One nobody likes, but all he does is clean the place up. It's not that bad of a guy. Yeah, he's kind of ugly, but you know what? He's friendly. Everybody picks on him. I don't, I don't think that's right. That's what's right. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Soul Cycle of Pisces. Do our fish need to be aware of in the tank today? Anything interesting happening? That scuba diver going to go into the treasure chest again? Or what? Bubbles blowing out of it, scaring the shit out of everybody. I never like it when that happens. This way. Ah, what do we got in the heart of this situation? Holy Spirit. Ooh. We got two. We got a princess of pentacles, so a younger earth sign possibly. Showing a little TT there. We got uh, the lovers, okay. The lovers could be a Gemini, could be um, some kind of contract, could be a uh, marriage, could be. What's this one called in this one? This one is called uh, the children of the voice of the divine. So. Fighting a snake there. It could be a snake. Yeah, there could be a snake. So you're just fighting a snake on the. One of the lovers is fighting a snake. <sighs> Princess of Pentacles could be a. Uh, So that's the heart of the matter. Some kind of uh, contract or love union or some shit like that. Uh, what do we got in the... What's the challenge in the situation there, Holy Spirit? What's the cha oh, this one? Challenge is a knight of swords. Somebody rushing in to do something quick. Possibly uh, something brave, but not really thinking much about it. Could backfire. Like... Sometimes this is known as a bully card. Uh, okay. We got in subconscious. What are you subconsciously thinking of there, Pisces? Uh, Pisces. Let's do this. Two fish. Queen of Pentacles. So subconsciously you're thinking about Queen of Pentacles. Another earth sign, possibly. So... Queen of the Thrones of the Earth. So, could be somebody who's, uh, usually the Queen of the Pentacles is pretty abundant. She could, I don't know, she's my kind of sugar mama card. She kind of like, uh, usually has her shit together financially. And, um, could be a business owner or married to a business owner. Um, yeah. She's also, uh, big about, like, roots and, like, uh, Tradition and stuff like that too. Uh, so that's what you're thinking of subconsciously. We got. Uh, we got here. Oh, in the past we have the Four of Pentacles, the Lord of Earthly Power, so stability. This is like stability, like uh, past you're gaining your stability. You're um, putting, you're building a foundation to something. Some kind of business possibly or could be just a foundation of like uh, 
maybe you started from scratch you had to um, get rid of some old and bring in some new but you want to do it properly this time so you laid your four corners here four corners of your uh, the center stone if you will or the was it the cornerstone yeah the cornerstone like uh, those are the cornerstones there and then that which are like the strength of the foundation right so if you know anything about the Bible Jesus is a cornerstone he's the He's the most important block because without the, the foundation, the, the top of the tower is only as strong as the foundation. So if you build your build your uh, building on the on like uh, the word, which is Jesus in the Bible, then uh, the rest of the building will be strong, right? So and the devil always tries to make himself out to be the top of the building. You know what I mean? Because he's the the one filled with pride, right? He always has to try and steal the glory. So. Anyways, that's what that's what it represents in the Bible. Uh, what do we got in the um, um, present situation? Holy Spirit. Five of Pentacles, so presently you're lost in lack of poverty, which is, um, whatever, for some of us it's just the normal, right, but, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, whatever, it's poverty, but it's financial poverty, it doesn't mean it's spiritual poverty, you know what I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, so, like I said, so far we got four, Five. Uh, what do we got in the um, future? In the future, we have the magician. Okay, so that's good, and it's upright. So the magician upright is like uh, you have like all all the elements basically are in your possession. You can manifest anything you want. See how he's got his his uh ground his um wand up in the air there and he's pointing to the ground and he's got uh he's basically pulling things out of the heavens there he's manifesting them in his mind because whatever you think of whatever you put out to the universe the universe will bring back to you right so i mean, i don't know he's got kind of like uh, this weird looking boy or like it reminds me of the golden boy statue here in winnipeg which i don't I think it represents uh, Lucifer or whatever. Because like I said, like I just explained to you, it's like uh, he's always got to put himself on the top of the building. He's, he's covered in gold and he's a flashy motherfucker because he's full of pride, right? Uh, and yeah, I call it, they call him the golden boy on the top of the building. I think he's a different theme or something like that. Basically, I call him the, the, gold, the I call him Lucy, Lucifer, so. Cause he is he's always the flashiest motherfucker he's gonna be the one with the big some people call him the the, the illuminator the light bringer too because like you say he does have a purpose there's a reason why the lord keeps him around for the time being right like it's just to teach us lessons and because without resistance you get weak right uh, what do we got in the um Influence. How are you influencing this situation? Pisces. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so player energy. This is usually my player card, so it doesn't have to be. It could be just like moving to and fro really quick, like doing business like really quick, like moving fast. fast you know what I mean? But this is usually a player card. The Lord of Flame of Light and Lightning gets in this one. So. He's a flashy motherfucker. He goes in and out. He's not the type of person you want to like, like marry or anything like that. Because he's just he's just gonna be on the. He's gonna see something flashy and run off to the next thing, right? So, what do we? Uh, hopes and fears, Holy Spirit. What do we got? These two. For hopes and fears. We got the star, which is Aquarius energy. We got uh, this one's called the daughter of the firmament. And we got the 
Seven of Pentacles, the Lord of Success unfulfilled. So this is like bad, like business, bad business moves. Like success unfulfilled, like seesaw matchup, like just whatever you're you're putting to your hands is not working out right at the moment. But that's probably your fears and your hopes would be the Star Aquarius energy, which can also represent hope, uh, faith, and healing, which is all good things. We got in the um, the lens you're looking through. The lens you're looking through. <laughs> Seen a mini van go by there. Oh, the lens you're looking through. Okay, this is the lens you're looking through is the devil. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe you're thinking about obsession. You're obsessing about something, or you're. Uh, Focusing on it through the eyes of like somebody who's addicted, maybe, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, or you could be looking at taking advice from a Capricorn. You could be, um, hopefully, you're not one of these fucking groupies attached, like attached to his throne there, and it'll look a little tweaked out there. Uh, oh, shit, cameraman, for Christ's sake, don't fall over. My cameraman's drunk as hell. If you fall down, I'm gonna steal your perks again, just remember that. Okay. Uh, what are we gonna do with um? What's in the environment, Holy Spirit? What's in the environment? Uh, for Pisces, Pisces. Oh, or what else? I just floated by in a tank there. I think it was that sucker fish guy. Oh, this one. Oh, oh, come out blocked. Ooh, okay, so the Lord of Harmony, harmonious change blocked. So this is like harmonious change, like making a business decision, like to um, possibly whatever business decision you're, right, you're making right now is most likely being blocked. And that's in the environment. So I'm thinking it has something to do with the way you're looking at things because you're looking at things through an obsessed mind or through an addicted mind or through some kind of addiction might be holding you back or some kind of obsession. Because the devil's all about addictions, obsessions, bondage, you know, being bonded to something, you know, uh, something that holds you back, something that uh, is not good for you, you know. Like, it's, everything's good in, in, like, moderation, but some things can sometimes take over and block the rest of your your endeavors, right? What do we have in the outcome of the situation for our Pisces? Pisces, outcome, outcome. Give me three spirit. I'm, I'm being heavy. There's two? Okay, well, two doesn't exist. Okay, two is... This is your outcome and your possible advice is uh, five of swords. Okay, maybe not advice. Or it could be. Is the Lord of Defeat. Is, um... This is temporary. Fives are always temporary too, right? So you got to remember that. But this could mean like cruelty, like being defeated, humiliation. It means also means humiliation. It could be either you being humiliated or somebody else being humiliated. Um, yeah, it's not good energy. I don't like it. But this can be good energy. I'm thinking this is your advice right here. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio, like woman, like right now. But the child of the great transformers is uh, scorpionic energy, which is good energy. It's death. It's um, it's uh, transformation. Everybody, you know, like it very rarely means like actual physical death unless there's certain parts surrounding it. But you know, like death is like transformation. And judging by like the lens you're looking through, which is like devil energy, I'm thinking transformation is probably needed for you to make a transformation away from that energy because that energy is just eventually going to consume you and never do you any good. Uh, there is some good aspects of the devil card which could be uh, uh, rebellion. Sometimes rebellion is needed, right? Um, but yeah, I, don't, I never really see Big Red unless he's on his head. <laughs> which means like coming out of addiction so, or obsessions. Uh, what do we got in the underlying energy, Holy Spirit? We got the Seven of Cups, so illusions, okay? So you, the lens you're looking through is the devil, so that's 
this makes sense a lot because if you're looking through the lens of the devil, through your addicted eyes or through some kind of eyes of obsession and not like leaning on God or the Holy Spirit, like basically you're going to be met with a bunch of illusions, things that look really tasty and look really good, but every cup that you drink is going to be like sugar-coated shit, you know, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be anything good. Usually there is one good option in these options, so, but there's seven and the chances of actually getting that one option without discernment and looking through the eyes of your big red there, you're never going to, he's always going to, if you're looking through his eyes, he's always going to send you to the shit, sugar-coated shit cup. He's never going to send you to the one that's actually going to fulfill you. Because, uh, what do you say? Um, what did I just get? Oh, yeah. Because, uh, now there's a part in the Bible uh, where it's like, uh, uh, I'll give you the water that will you'll drink and you'll never thirst again. Like that's the that's the kind of cup that you need. And the, these other cups are all just illusions, right? So that's for you, Pisces. Have a good one.